All right, today we are taking a look at the Patton Smart Node 4300 VoIP IP channel bank uh, to accommodate FXS ports or to use analog devices as a SIP endpoint on your phone system. So this is the Smart Node 4300. Uh, you'll notice uh, there is one LED on the front here and uh, that is truly the only LED that's a little unusual often there'll be a port indication and some other things but in this case there is one LED and all it does is shows you if the unit is powered uh, it does not uh, like some of the other patent devices sometimes the light blinks to let you know that it's still booting this one is powered on or powered off uh, another thing you need to watch out for is when it gets momentarily unplugged uh, it it re retains a charge, so if it's momentarily unplugged, you may not notice that. But one LED, uh, the unit, it's fairly light, well built. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the uh, the rack ears are very well built. They are cast; they're not just a bent piece of metal, so they're good and solid there. Um, also, uh, yeah, the unit's fairly light. There's, it doesn't appear like there's a lot in there. Um, also, and there you can see the side and the back. Now we'll just move across here. We have the power cord there and you'll notice right beside it is the uh, grounding uh, plug or the grounding pull. Also there's a safety catch to make sure that your power doesn't get unplugged. Uh, this is uh, enterprise grade equipment. And we move over here and then we have the 50 pin telco, uh, standard telco connection. And this uh, FXS unit will accommodate 24 or 36 ports. And moving across here further, we have a uh, we have the Telnet console. It's a serial port. We'll need a serial port to get that. And then moving next, we have the reset plug. And then further down here, we have the we have the Ethernet cable plug in. All right, and the other side, you'll see it looks just the same as the other side. But that really is the unit. It does not come with, uh, another thing you might expect is that it would come with uh, ability to plug your telephone or devices in. You have to buy some kind of adapter. It is available from Patton, and you can get it probably in any, uh, however you want it. Uh, uh, just cables or a plug-in for your device. All right, so that's pretty much the unit. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's metal, and uh, that should do it. One last thing: what's in the manual? We have an Ethernet cable and the Telnet serial cable, CD, and a manual. All right, patent forty-three hundred.